Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. One car springs to mind when thinking of the green auto movement, the Toyota Prius. It's hard to ignore this juggernaut, and now it's even harder as they've added two new hybrids and a plug-in to their lineup. I give you the Prius family. C. D. Plug-in. All right, so we're here with Ed LaRoque, the national brand manager for Advanced Technology Vehicles. Thanks so much for being with us. Great, thanks for having me. Let me start off by asking this. What is multiple Prius called? Is that Priuses or Pri-I? Pri-I. Pri-I. Pri okay. Yes. You had the Prius, it was wildly successful, and then you guys decided, this is a great thing, let's do more of them, and introduced a whole line. As much as uh, our customers love their Prius, some of them said they'd like to have options. We made the decision and launched the first of the new Prius family members, the Prius V. Prius V appeals to young families. It's a great alternative to a small SUV. It's six inches longer than a Prius liftback. All right, here we go. The Prius V. V is for versatility, not victory. You also might think V is for van because this is longer, bigger, a lot more cargo room in this thing. When you look in the back, it's like, hello! It is the same engine, the 1.8 liter, still producing 134 horsepower, just now in a bigger package, so of course that affects the performance. On the inside, you've got all kinds of cool bells and whistles. You can pair your phone with Bluetooth. You download this app. Using my data through my phone, I can get weather, Pandora, Map, Bing, iHeartRadio, fuel prices, all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So that's all right here. There are a couple modes that are located right here. I have EV, Eco, and Power. Power mode gives me a little more oomph. This isn't, uh, yo, what's up, girl? How you doing? That's not this car. This is after you talk to that girl. Then you guys had kids, you made babies, and you filled your car with them. That's what you're doing with this car. We came out with the Prius C. It was great for first-time hybrid buyers, a little bit less expensive, right. a great MPG, great urban car, and that appeals to young singles and couples. C stands for city, so it's smaller, it's more urban, more hip, more cool, that kind of thing. The interior is certainly different than the Prius. This looks more like a regular car. Inside here has the shifter on the floor. Now that center stack that's so traditionally Prius is gone. I've got the ability on the steering wheel here to move through my displays and eco score, eco savings. Unfortunately, it's it's very small though, and it doesn't seem very safe. It's just hard to see. It's not it's not a nice big LCD display screen like you would have in other vehicles. So that's worth noting. You have so many little nooks and crannies and storage spots. There's not tons of room in the back. 99 horses. That's not very fast. Okay. <laughs> but it has the best fuel economy in the whole Prius family. Getting almost 53 miles per gallon. You know, something that you might like. And then finally, the Prius plug-in. Here we go, plug-in Prius. So this Prius fully charges in three hours out of the wall at a level one charge. You're only getting 11 miles of EV range and it's, it's not super torquey and super peppy like we're used to out of a pure electric. That's because it's such a small battery. It seems like they kind of feather it. A great example of that will be here at the light. I'm stopped. I'm gonna race this guy. Might be close. Now you get a little bit of extra sound there because the engine has kicked in. It's realized that I'm asking for more than just battery power. So they've added a lithium ion battery. So right now, EV, mash on the gas, the engine kicks in. So even in EV mode, it's not gonna let you just use the battery, the lithium ion. With the plug-in, is this kind of a test bed car? Because, you know, it's got roughly 11 miles of range or so, pure EV. There's some other competitors out there that, that do it a, a little bit higher. But what's the thought there with 11? Yes. Ours is more of a small battery strategy, so with the plug-in, the cargo space capacity is the same on a plug-in as it is on the liftback. 
and frankly it helps us keep the cost down a little bit so we don't have to charge you know our customers as much for that vehicle you know for my commute for example I commute about 16 miles and I'm getting between 65 and 70 miles per gallon overall with the small sure. battery application because essentially your first 11 miles are free right right it's got some benefits in the area of cost and cargo space yeah. as well is there a thought that you would then kind of scrap the nickel metal hydride, even in just your regular Prius and C and V? For us, nickel metal hydride's been bulletproof, great you know, power output, and very efficient for us. I think downstream, we'll see how lithium ion you know, performs. Obviously, um, you know, more power output, lighter weight, it's got great potential. Right. We'll continue that way in the short term, and uh, we'll make some decisions later on on lithium ion. So there you go, a Prius for everyone. Unless you want a twin turbo or a pure EV, can't have that for now. But hopefully Toyota will be groundbreaking again in the Prius family and provide something for both of those. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.